Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I would like to thank both rapporteurs which have prepared and presented very interesting and timely reports. One which dealt with the ethics in the changing media environment and the second which uh, dealt with the need to increase the transparency of media ownership. Um, unfortunately, I come from Georgia, which uh, experiences currently uh, big problems uh, from the intrusion and amplification of the Russian propaganda tools. Uh, and unlike the Ukrainian case or the Moldovan case, in Georgia this happens not through the Russian government-owned media, which is not very popular in Georgia while it is widely available since the change of government in 2012 in Georgia, uh, but it appears through the Georgian-speaking, uh, mainly newsletters, uh, and uh, specifically one of them, which is called Asaval da Savali, uh, and another outlet, which is the um, uh, small uh, television uh, called Objek TV. Unfortunately, those were the, um, uh, the uh, media examples which have proven that uh, they incite to hate uh, against the minorities. Uh, would it be religious? Would it be uh, national minorities? Uh, they tend to provide the information uh, which is targeting uh, to spread the opinions against the European Union. And unfortunately, of course, uh, the uh, journalists are free to, to, uh, to express uh, in a way in which they, they want to do so. But the problem is that those outlets, which are clearly anti-Western and pro-Russian uh, propaganda, uh, and sometimes they incite to the violence against the human rights defenders, including the defenders of the LGBTI rights, um, they are financed by the government. And this is something which, uh, which made me to, to consider a possibility to increase our scope of the transparency of the ownership. Uh, not only the information about the real owners should be open, but also we should require uh, media outlets, but also the governmental institutions to publish all the information about any contracts that the government have concluded with media outlets, what is the purpose of such, um, uh, such contracts? And we have to introduce uh, the legislation and the obligation for the government in first instance, and then to the media, uh, to give to the uh, public the information from where the financing comes, whether it is governmental interest behind spreading the anti-Western um, uh, notions which are clearly against human rights and against the liberties. Uh, another thing that I wanted um, to touch uh, are, uh, is expressed in the uh, amendments which I have tabled and I will explain the, the content during their presentation. I thank both rapporteurs. Thank you.